Hey guys, this is just a little uh, example of some questions relating to stress that I think Michif um, either is different than Cree or also that's at least not as simple as people say, where the emphasis is on the last syllable and then the third from the end. Uh, to give the example of the normal pattern that we talk about would be, okay, atoshkeo, to work, right? You'd say he's working. And datoshkan, I'm working. Kitatoshkan, um, uh, you're working. You notice that the stress is atoshkan. So it's a third from the end is the high stress, then the uh, secondary stress is on the final syllable. Now, when you turn it into a conjunct mode, you would say, sapran chietoshkeyan, sapran chietoshkeyan. Or, uh, uh, or we got to work, sapran chietoshkeyak. And this contrasts with chiatoshket, uh, he's got to work. So you notice that when you add an extra syllable onto the end of the word, all of the syllables shift down. Um, something that used to confuse me, um, <coughs> I just learned it through repeating, I never really thought about the pattern until now, but there's a lot of words in which this doesn't work right. For example, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we say uh, 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 and it seems to me that the third, the main syllable is wap, and then the last one is in. Now in other dialects of Creek, and you end up the em emphasis on the um, which was, is actually the third syllable from the end. Now, I don't know why this is, but I found a series of other examples where I think I can say why, or at least give, an, give a reasonable pattern. And that's in verbs like pigishkweo, uh, oshitam. And these are all verbs that have sh in them. And it seems that syllables that have ish or sh don't like to take emphasis. Uh, you can probably find counterexamples to this, but here's these three words. Um, so you have big uh, I'm talking. On Cree big I'm speaking Cree or Michif or whatever you want to call it. On Michif big Now, <clears throat> say I want to speak. You'd say, uh, uh, or I like to speak Michif. We'd say ten on Michif You don't say chipigishquean. You say chipigishquean. So that ish uh, syllable doesn't take the emphasis. It, so even as you would expect it to be first like um, pigishquan, then when you add that extra pigishquan, you add that extra syllable, you'd expect that the heavy syllable would also move forward one from pig to ish pigishquan, but it doesn't happen. It's mi utenchi pigishquan. You know, sapranchi pigishquet, sapranchi pigishquan. The, the syllable doesn't change. Uh, the same with um, oshitam. Kegwai oshitayan. You'd expect that to be kegwai e oshitayan. What are you doing? Um, oshitam. He's he's making something, doing something. And yoshten. Wait, oshitam. Is it oshitam or oshitao? Yoshitat. Yoshitayan. Oshitaman. Yoshitayan. Yeah, I think it isn't oshitam. Excuse me. It should be osh, oshitat. Kegwai oshitat. Um, but when you add it to I, kegwai oshtayan moyangske ten. So again, that osh, the emphasis always seems to fall on the o, not on the i. No matter how many, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if you add syllables onto the end or not. Another example <coughs> would be tsipigshkweo uh, oshtao um, tashtam. That verb that I was using that people were talking about, tashtam, tashtam. Uh, also, you're going to, um, uh, tashtam, he says it, and sapranch uh, tashtamach, we've got to talk about it. And so the emphasis stays on the ash, like tashtamach, instead of tashtamach. And I'm going to have to go listen to some recordings and try and find this pattern other places, but this is how I learned it, and it seems like there's a general trend that when you have sh, the sh just kind of results in a lengthened vowel of some sort, tashtaman, and the sh just, uh, the whole syllable gets pronounced as sh, and if there's a stress to fall on it, it gets knocked to the previous syllable, tashtaman. Um, so that's it for this little explanation. I hope uh, that's useful to somebody, and maybe it'll start a conversation.